All right, guys, we have a massive update incoming for version 1.2 of Wuthering Waves, which is right around the corner, with a bunch of insane events and rewards that just got confirmed by their 1.2 trailer. So in this video, we will be doing a recap of all the incoming events for 1.2 and all the pulls that we will be getting of each event as well. And if any of you guys need to top up on Lunites for this update, check out this website called Loot Bar. Loot Bar provides a 20% discount on Lunites compared to the in-game purchase. Here is how I purchased Lunites for just $40 guys instead of nearly $50 in-game. All you need is to enter your UID and server, and it's that easy guys. Loot Bar provides faster, safer, and cheaper Wuthering Waves recharge than any other sites. They also have a review section, which you can check out for yourself. New users even get a 5% discount coupon for their purchases. Check out the link in the description or comment section down below to save money with Loot Bar. Thank you Loot Bar for sponsoring this video. Alright guys, so now let's take a look at all the new events that are upcoming in 1.2. Starting off with the new banners added in the game, Zengli Yao and Zezi with their weapons which I believe Zezi will be coming in the first phase of 1.2 and Zheng Liao is in the second phase, which we can claim him for free in the form of a event. Now for the first event from the trailer is the limited time event by Moon's Grace, Moon Chasing Festival themed event, which will provide us with 1200 asteroids and a bunch of other various materials which is pretty nice for a, a, a event that gives us 1200 asteroids that is normally high. Now for the new event by Moon's Grace, this is the event where we can obtain a free Zingli Yao. If I skip forward here at the end of the trailer, they put this segment up, claim for free, special event to win a 5 star resonator Zingli Yao. And it also says here right beside it, that you can participate in the event called by Moon's Grace. That's the name of the event that I was just talking about. And then it says you can boost popularity stakes for the Moon Chasing Festival. So going back to that event, playing this event gives us popularity points. And when we reach a certain amount of points, then we can finally claim the character. Once we reach 6,000 popularity points, I believe that is when you've completed the event and you will be able to get a Zingli Yao for free after getting those 6,000 popularity points. Now, I'm not sure on the details on how long it takes, but hopefully it does not take a long time. So we can enjoy our character for free quite early, but in the end, it's still a free limited five-star character. So no matter on the time that it takes to obtain it, it's still a very generous reward, but all right. We also have a lot more events incoming guys, so let's take a look at that. So we also have a new incoming companion quest for Zezi, which could be interesting. We haven't seen too many details on this character yet, so we can expect a lot more info on her with this quest. And we can expect this quest to give us 140 asteroids. Next up is the 7 day login event, giving us 5 standard and 5 limited pulls. Now having these type of login events is quite normal every patch, we can expect at least one for every version update from now on, which is always nice. Um, I would prefer 10 limited pulls instead of 5 of each, but that's still a lot of free stuff that we're getting so I can't complain about that. And I could also mention that the art for that is quite beautiful, they did an amazing job. But moving on guys to the new co-op tower defense event. As you can see guys, this is a new limited time defense event where you can team up with friends and other players to defend the tower from incoming enemies. Completing this event will give you 500 asteroids and some extra materials. We also have a new elusive realm update that have been confirmed for 1.2, giving us a thousand asteroids, a ton of materials and on top of that, we're getting a new echo skin for the dreamless boss. Which you can see in detail here, the skin looks pretty good. I really like the colors on it with the red, white, and black. I think it looks pretty good. 
and that's not all guys we are also getting a new alloy smelt event the alloy smelt number two confirmed for 1.2 which will give us another 500 asteroids some echo selectors premium tuners and exp materials a pretty good event i'm glad we are getting a lot more than simply asteroids from these events helping the progression of our accounts for building our characters it's quite useful and for the slackers we have a returnee event so for players who have been away for a while we can come back to exclusive rewards by simply checking in or doing some tasks to help you get back into the game pretty useful they didn't need to do this event at all but they still want to help people that um, don't have that have less time playing this game or that took a break this will help you catch up so pretty nice now i do not have any details on this specific event for the, regarding the rewards so i can't tell you guys on that yet but we can expect maybe a few hundred asteroids from this and a good amount of materials to help you get back going all right guys a lot of insane events now let's calculate the total pulls real quick so with all the events mentioned in this video we are getting a free five star and the asteroid count is 3340 asteroids plus another 10 free pulls from the login event but those are simply from the events we are also getting a bunch of other stuff aside from the events like i believe we're getting a new story quest we're getting maintenance compensation which is like 600 asteroids we get the shops resetting you know the shops we were giving us seven pulls of each banner seven weapon pulls seven limited pulls seven standard pulls that's going to reset on this update we're also supposed to be getting new gift codes some new achievements and of course doing your dailies every day it does add up to a lot and even more stuff guys so in total for the entire 1.2 update it's giving us around 70 limited pulls 17 standard pulls and seven weapon pulls absolutely insane guys this update is giving us a lot of free stuff props to kuro game for being so generous with their updates they deserve it they deserve all the success they've been treating us really well and they haven't been cheap with their events we've been getting events that give insane rewards and on top of that a free limited five star two patches into the game which is kind of crazy so yeah guys this concludes my update video if you guys enjoyed feel free to like and subscribe and have those notifications on to be kept updated with everything weathering waves thanks for watching and see you all in the next one